Hi guys, in this video we're going to be looking at a new USB scanner I just bought which is the HP 200. This is to replace my other USB scanner which is the CanoScan LIDE 210 uh, which I managed to sort of break by, um, I was doing some organic textures, I put down some dust and dirt on the screen and scanned that in, that worked really well. Uh, cleaned that off, thought coffee granules would be a good idea, put that on. Unfortunately, there was some moisture left on the screen and they dissolved into the mechanism and that's made it a bit temperamental about whether it's on scanning or not. So uh, what we're going to do in this video, we're going to look at the uh, what's in the box of the HP. We're going to see what the size-wise it compares on the desk with the Cano scan. Um, and then in a couple of weeks, I'm going to do another video where I'll compare the pros and cons of uh, the HP compared to the Cano scan. And the reason why I like USB scanners is that they don't take up an extra socket. Um, they're usually smaller and I don't need the functionality that comes with the bigger ones, the photo and slide scans. Um, I just need a scanner that's quick, does black and white between 600 and 1200 DPI and that's about it really. So um, yeah, let's switch over to the other camera and get started. Being clumsy. I always worry that I'm going to bust it just getting it out of the box. Okay, instruct manual. USB lead, always handy, rather than have to buy a separate one. What's immediately different about the HP over the Cano scan is that the Cano scan lifts up from this edge, whereas the um, HP lifts up from the side. So for me, this will be in here. I hope it over this side. I'll be over here. My computer is just here. Just over here. Getting a page of type, turning over, placing it on like that. So quite like that actually. It's that way around. Okay, on the front you've got the buttons. A PDF button, so it's a scan straight to PDF, uh, scan straight to an email scan straight to the printer uh, or just general just scan scan a document into the uh, computer okay i'll get the uh can i scan one now i can compare the size so here they are side by side uh the hp slightly taller and i think slightly just slightly wider as well so actual area is quite similar. I think slightly bigger on the HP. We're looking at about eight and a half inches. All right, is the same. Just deceiving because of the bevel on the outside. Both about similar sort of raised up. Uh, if you can see on here, make sure I can, it's just coffee, diluted coffee all over there. And there's just stuff all around the lids, got inside the sides. Um, but well used, well loved. So I'm going to be testing this uh, this week, next week, and just see how it performs compared to this one. Uh, this one's really quick. Um, don't have to wait for it to warm up or anything. But yeah, just recently it's not been playing playing ball. So try this one out, just see what it's like. This one's the best seller on Amazon. This is the second best, but then there's not many of the USB scanners around actually. There you go guys. Check back in a couple of weeks time where I have a comparison video between the HP and the Cano scan. And I'll also show you what software I use on my Mac I don't use the default uh, image capture app, app because for some reason it's not talking to my uh, Cano scan. Um, I don't know what that is. So I'll show you which one I bought. And um, yeah, hope that's been useful. I will see you in the next video.